What is going on everybody? My name is Alan, this is Project Elevate, and today, welcome to another video of how to make 2K23 My Team Awesome. Today we're gonna touch on game modes, specifically online. Going right into it, jumping right into it, Unlimited needs to uh, be changed drastically. We're just kind of fatigued of the similar system. We've had the same system for two years, um, same Unlimited kind of type of name and connotation for a couple of years now. Um, so this needs to be totally reworked into like a legit competitive mode. We all know we've had SBMM for in the game for a couple years now. And the biggest issue is that high tier, high skill players do not get rewarded for playing higher competition. Um, so that's the first thing that needs to be changed up in 2K23. You just have to reward players for playing in higher skill tiers. So my team's obviously based around gems. So I say just throw in gems. You know, let that be a flex, um, what gem tier you're in to give you that little bit of clout in the community. So another thing is that the reward system takes so many games to get to a reward. I mean, you can go into clutch time, play one game, spin a wheel and get a really high tier player, or you have to play through 60 something games of unlimited to do the same thing. And that just makes zero sense. So we need some type of reward mechanism after each game that gets updated with events, um, a couple times throughout the season, whatever it may be. Another thing for the competitive mode, we need some type of leaderboard. Again, it's a competitive mode. It should be, you know, the sweaty mode. It should be the mode to showcase your skill, your record. If you're, if that's what drives you in my team and playing uh, 2K, then that's where you need to go. And that's where you need to be able to show um, your accomplishments. All right, and to wrap up this mode, what I propose is season end events. So after every season, if you're in the top two tiers, whatever those two tiers may be, I wanna see just, uh, you know, the top 16 of each tier qualify for a tournament and uh, you know just go at it for some prizes whatever it may be those numbers could be expanded or contracted the format that's up to the devs but some type of tournament uh, where the top tier or the top two tier something like that could just kind of go into single player tournaments and uh, get those bragging rights season after season and for everybody in the lower tiers there needs to be some type of season and scramble a lot like they had in those uh, 2k card games back in the day they had events every so often or you just have to play games and then wherever you finish as far as wins um, at the end of the event you rank top one top 10 top 50 top 12, um, 100 whatever and then you get different prizes based on wherever you kind of fall in there and i remember playing that you know years back i remember being very inclined to uh, play more games and play as many games as i could try to level up and get some of those reward cards so it's always a fun way and kind of encourages people like going through games getting in and out quick if uh, they incorporate some type of mercy rule, kind of eliminate some of the stalling and stuff like that that can happen during those things. So that would be a really cool thing to do, you know, once at the end of the season, get everybody hyped, see that kind of scramble for stuff, and everybody gets some cool rewards at the end of the season. All right, so moving on to a more casual mode. Uh, Limited is supposed to be the more casual mode in 2K. And um, I think a lot of people are, are tired of the system, tired of the concept. Um, so what I propose is that it still kind of be some type of limited, but not in the time sense, but in the, t in the sense that you have team tiers. So gem tiers, I've talked about this before in prior videos, but basically each tier has a certain lineup restriction. So you know that if you play in a tier, you're gonna play in your same tier, one tier above, one, one tier below, and you can get rewarded accordingly based on that. And afterwards, you can get some type of uh, some type of reward for every win. This is meant to be a more casual mode, so the rewards don't have to be super souped. But one of the ideas, again, picking off uh, some of the ideas from the, the card game from a while back, there could be an ascension board essentially, and you can get one pick per loss and three picks per win. And you can use that, you know, after each game, get some different rewards there. Again, nothing too crazy. This is meant to be more casual. Um, and this is definitely a place that the biggest key to this is that there are a lot of players that want to play with certain type of cards. And I like to do a lot of squad builders and a lot of times those, uh, some cards don't get updated. So I have to use emeralds and rubies and stuff like that, even late on into the year. So it'd be good to have a place where I can build a team around that and not have to face the top teams. All right, so as far as draft mode, um, I'd like to see it come back with a couple little tweaks. There was times throughout the year where it was pretty fun to play. And I like the concept of having three cards that are higher tier uh, kind of be guaranteed. That really balanced out the gameplay for me. So I like to see that return. It doesn't have to be the very highest tier early on in the game since there's not very many of them, but it could be the second highest tier. Something that at least guarantees you to have uh, some viable scorers in the game. And then just let us see all five cards make us choose you know two from there just a simple little thing like that will go a long way and then the last thing is just uh, update the interface a little bit so we have a little bit more options whether it be uh, lineups or some game plans just a little bit more to not have to do everything in game 
Right, so Clutch Slam was definitely a big win with the community. Most of the year, it had became the most sweaty mode with the release of some of the giants and stuff like that. But nevertheless, it needs to come back. Just give us a new court, um, a couple little variations to the prize structure, just something to make it feel a little bit fresh. Um, and we're good to go on that. Good concept, great casual, just fast pick up and play type mode. Um, let us play with friends so we can set up tournaments and stuff like that too. All right, and we can move on from that. All right, so moving on to Triple Threat Online. Uh, 3v3 is a great mode to have an option to play. Again, the, the quick nature, the more casual nature is good. The, I know certain players just love to play TTO. Um, this year it wasn't as well received, had some struggles early on, um, but go ahead and keep you know the mode in there. Some type of 3v3, but just please, please 2K, give us a new court. We don't want that court anymore. We all pretty much unanimously uh, dislike the court from the get-go. So give us a new court. It'd be cool to have like two courts, an outdoor court and an inside court. And for the outdoor court, what I'd love to see on next gen is dynamic time of day. So that depending on what time of day you're playing, you're gonna see that those dynamic shadows kind of kick into effect. It's gonna be, you're gonna have your night games, you're gonna have your day games, stuff like that. Just that alone would breathe such a fresh air into the mode. Um, just let us do some settings and games, stuff like that too. That way we could play the way we wanna play and we're good to go with the TTO. All right, so moving on to play with friends. Couple, couple little tweaks. Let us customize some sliders uh, for this so that uh, competitive guys can have like the competitive game set up how they kind of want it to be set up. Doesn't have to be full slider customization, but um, just a couple different presets, casual comp. Get with the comp community and um, let them tell you what they want to see in their games. This mode is a huge staple of the comp scene, so just uh, make it right with them. Triple Threat was a great addition. Like I mentioned before, let's add clutch time to the mix, why not? Um, and I, what, the other thing I would love to see is uh, kind of like scram or freestyle added into this so you could play with your friends. A lot of times you just want to lab with your friend, work on some things, work on some plays, freelances, defensive schemes, whatever it may be. And adding like a scrim mode that you don't have to worry about a shot clock, stuff like that. Or just being able to like kind of shoot around and play one-on-one uh, -on -one with your friend, whatever. That would just be so epic, man. I have already had visions of uh, doing like 21 or something like that with a couple friends. Uh, just playing one-on-one -on -one, games of course what, whatever it may be just there's a lot of potential that could be done with that again freestyle scrim with friends would be a great great addition to this all right so that pretty much wraps it up for the online modes video's already getting a little bit longer than i wanted it to be so we're going to do offline modes in a separate video look for both of these to, to come out pretty much around the same time let me know your ideas in the comments. As always, appreciate you guys watching the video. So drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. My name is Alan. This is Project Elevate. Until next time, elevate your grind game yourselves and each other. Peace.